What is a cash flow? A cash flow is a cash movement in or out of a project, company or situation. For example, Jinsia pays a bill. Eric cashes in a cheque. Benjamin settles on the purchase of a house. Cash flows have a number of characteristics, such as an amount and a date. Furthermore, the amount and the date could actually be random. In fact, the existence of the cash flow itself could be uncertain. Hence, there could be several probabilities associated to the cash flow. Often, one wants to compare cash flows or sets of cash flows. You may be doing this without even realizing it. For instance, Anthony should decide whether he wants to pay his private health premium monthly, quarterly or annually. But also, if you have a car, surely you have had to make a choice on the level of excess for your comprehensive car insurance. Here, the choice is typically a trade-off between a reduction of premium now, say $450 instead of $500, against a higher contribution to possible claim in the future, say $1,000 instead of $500. In this example, the premium is to be paid now and has to be paid no matter what. On the other hand, the excess will have to be paid only if there is an accident and the amount will depend on its severity. This makes the choice not obvious and two different individuals may make two different perfectly valid choices. Remember that the date is one of the essential characteristics of a cash flow. In the example involving Anthony, he had to choose how to pay the premium, annually, quarterly or monthly. Consider these men. Who is the tallest? It is hard to tell, because the men all stand at a different distance from the camera. They are placed at different spots on a distance continuum. If we knew exactly at what distance they stood, we could make calculations to answer the question. Or, we could ask them to move so they are all exactly at the same distance from the camera. We would then compare their height on the picture. With cash flows, the ID is the same. But the continuum is time, not space. Consider the following example. From the point of view of a given date t, a cash flow of $1,000 after one year is generally not worth the same as a cash flow of $1,000 after two years. Except in very rare cases, people prefer having a dollar earlier rather than later. In other words, when comparing those two cash flows, the blue arrow is not as valuable as the red, because it is paid later. An equivalent blue cash flow at time t plus 1 could be, say, $900. The difference of $100 between the red and blue arrows at time t plus 1 is the time value of money, the one-year time value of $900 between time t plus 1 and t plus 2. The mathematical model for this is what we call interest. Assumptions about interest will help determine how to calculate equivalent cash flows at different dates, or equivalently, how to rank cash flows occurring at different dates.